So he just pushes us and then just goes back to his business. What an idiot! Anyway, here we find an Ultra Ball. This is the first Ultra Ball that we find. So, now we can get inside here. The door is closed. Chris entered the two passwords. The door opened. Oh yeah. What? Who are you? This is the office of our leader, Giovanni. Since disbanding Team Rocket three years ago, he has been in training. But we're certain he will be back someday to assume command again. That's why we're standing guard. I won't let anyone disturb this place. Huh, funny we're getting a different battle music against a uh, Team Rocket member, except we got Team Rocket Executive. So now we're facing off against the officers of Team Rocket. And hey, Team Rocket's officers have pretty strong Pokémon, so... At least now we can have a, uh, a Pokémon fight that has, you know, higher level ups. Aw oh, man, I didn't even put that Weepin' Bell to s or excuse me, didn't even put that Zubat to sleep. Now, I kind of forgot to switch out Weepin' Bell, but... It's okay. Since I forgot to do that, I may as well go and do that now. Haha. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> Leech life. Nice try, buddy. Nice try. But your Zubat's gonna go bye-bye. Again with my rhyming! Oh. Dang it, he used Confuse Ray again! Stop that! But then again, it's at level 22. How come you did not evolve your Zubat there, pal? Yes! Quilava pulled through! Well done! Alright. I mean, but hey, it's okay to share the experience. Now he's gonna switch to Eradicate. I think I'll switch to... I think I'll switch to Nidoking. Level 24 Eradicate. Now these are the uh, Team Rocket level Pokémon I should be fighting. Their levels being in the early or... You know, the early... Early to mid-20s. Hey, looks like we'll take down this Eradicate with a Double Kick. Awesome! 595 experience, level 30. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now he's gonna send out a coughing. Uh. I think I'll head back to Quilava. But good thing is, since I switched out a Pokemon, the confusion will not be on Quilava anymore. But I'm hoping that this coughing, however, I'm probably gonna go ahead and guess anyway, it's gonna use self destruct. Nope, it's going to use Sludge. Uh, a critical hit, and I got poison! Rats! Whatever. At least we dealt with it. Level 30 Quilava. Oh yeah! I... I couldn't do a thing. Giovanni, please forgive me. I don't think he'd ever forgive you. No, I can't let this affect me. I have to inform the others. Ha! You bump into that desk. But if we go over here... The, we have this Murkrow, it seems like it's apparently talking. Or unless it's like a note that's attached to this Murkrow. The password is... Hail Giovanni. <laughs> what a password that is. And there's nothing you can do in this in this computer. I need to get rid of the poison. With another poison cure berry. I mean, a good thing is I can always get more of these poison cure berries. But what's up here? It's an item, of course. It's TM46. And what is TM46? Well, let's have a look. TM46 is Thief, an attack that may steal a held item. Now, if you're really trying to get items from certain Pokémon, that, you know, could be useful, but personally, I don't use that. You know, sometimes if certain Pokémon have items, I would rather just, you know, just try to catch the Pokémon and just hope for the best. Because not all Pokémon would have uh, all their held items. Now, let's see, I'm going to switch to... 
Let's switch right back to Lapras. Because there's going to be one more member of Team Rocket that we can fight in here. We head back this way. But anyway, here's the door that we have to open. The door is closed. Chris, I know the password. The door open. Hold it right there. We can't have a brat like you on the loose. It's harmful to Team Rocket's pride, you see. However strong you may be, you can't take both of us at the same time. Sorry, baby. Now get ready to be thrashed. Ha! Back off! Hey! Don't be so selfish! Spread the fun around! What? You had an accomplice? You had an accomplice? You failed to notice that? He's been with me this entire time. Where's your sense of honor? As the interim boss in place of, Gio of Giovanni, I'll show you how wrong it is to meddle with Team Rocket. Come and get me then. Now we got a female Team Rocket executive. Now she's going to start off with an Arbok. And of course, Arbok is the evolved form of Ekans. So, start off by putting it to... Okay. Miss failing to put it to sleep. And all it did was just use a Leer attack. Okay, that's fine. Hey, at least we put you to sleep this time. Which is good on my side. So now you're gonna get it. See how well you can swim. See how well Arbok can swim. Not very well, I might say. 724 experience points, a good boost. Now she's gonna switch to a Gloom. Let's switch to Quilava. Because Gloom's obviously a grass type Pokemon. I mean, I could have switched to Golbat as well, but I need to get Quilava up. Didn't even take it down in one blow. Ah, but it decided to use Sweet Scent instead. Seriously? You know, even the rocket, you know, rocket officers aren't very smart in terms of battling. <laughs> okay, easy 649 experience, I'll take that. Now she's going to switch to her Murkrow. Now I'll switch to my Golbat. Spread the love around. And here's a Murkrow. Level 25. See how well you can do against my Golbat, bud. Probably ain't gonna do very well, I might say. And it hit itself, that's excellent! That's a good job, Murkrow! Yes, yes, that's a good job! <laughs> Dummy. Oh, take that! 573 experience. What do you, what do you got to say to that? <laughs> you really are strong. It's too bad. If you were to join Team Rocket, you could become an executive. Huh, <laughs> really? Well, too bad, so sad for you. This hideout is done for. But that's fine. The broadcast experiment was a total success. It doesn't matter what happens to this hideout now. We have much bigger plans. You'll come to appreciate Team Rocket's true power soon enough. Enjoy yourself while you can. <laughs> FU, 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 FU. <laughs> Poof! Like David Copperfield. That did it. We defeated all the rockets here. But I'm concerned about the young guy I battled in the process. Sorry, Chris. I saw how well you were doing, so I just so I just hung back. Now all there is left to do is to turn off that odd radio signal. It's this machine that's causing all the problems. I don't see a switch on it. We have no choice. We have to make all the electrode faint. That should stop this machine from transmitting that strange signal. It's no fault of the Pokémon. 
so it makes me feel guilty. Chris, let's split the job. So Lance's gonna take the uh, electrodes on the right while I have to take the electrodes on the left. Leave this side to me. I'm gonna go ahead and save it just to get all those uh, battles out of the way. Because that really did kill quite a bit of time in itself. Alright, let's deal with these electrode. Electrode numero uno! I mean, I like to go ahead and just uh, catch these electrodes, you know, just to add to the Pokedex and, you know, just for the heck of it. Sonic Boom. Okay. I mean, oh, come on! Just make him go to sleep. Sonic Boom again. Well, I mean, at least it's doing 20 easy damage for him. Or for it, rather. <laughs> but it took me long enough to put it to sleep. And you know, sometimes I don't understand how these Electro can be faster than my Lapras. I mean, how? How? Okay. I definitely don't want to do another... Any other attack. And, and you know, I accidentally said that we... That was the first Ultra Ball that we came across earlier. I forgot that we can obviously... <laughs> get an Ultra Ball on the route east of Ecruteak City. I mean, hey, I tend to forget these things, so... I mean, there's just a lot of stuff you can do in games like this. It's just easy to forget sometimes. I mean, of course, I'm not even using the Ultra Balls as well. I'm not even gonna use a, any one of them. Ah! I hate it when they pop out after the third shake. But then again, everybody does. Or I think everybody just hates it, you know, when they just pop out of the Pokeball and they don't stay in there, period. No matter how many shakes it... No matter how many shakes. Ugh. Come on. It's still asleep after all this. Well, hey, that's good. It better stay asleep. You best stay asleep if you know it's good for you. And you need to stay inside the Pokeball as well. You better. Oh, okay. Fine. Have it your way. Well, no! I'm not gonna let you have your way! You are going to take my way, whether you like it or not! Ah, man! Ah, this is getting ridiculous. You need to stay in there, you stinking electrode. Ah! Come on! Oh, now I decide to wake up again. <laughs> but oddly enough, that screech failed. Self-destruct! Come on! Man. That's just ridiculous. Alright. Electrode numero du. Well, obviously I said Spanish and French, but hey. I used three... I used... I, I just spoke, you know, different terms from three different languages, so there. I spoke English, and I quickly transitioned between Spanish and French. I mean, of course, I don't... I only know, like, the simple stuff of a couple languages, so... I mainly know, like, the simple stuff of different languages. Alright, I need to catch... I want to catch this one. I mean, of course, uh, Electrode, like I said, is not going to be used. But just add to the Pokedex, and just for the heck of it. First catch on this second Electrode! You've got to be kidding me! Oh well. Electrode, the ball Pokemon. 3 foot 11, 147 pounds. And you know what? I just find it odd that the Pokeball after you caught it was just a darker shade of a red and white. Uh, top and bottom. I kind of expected they would just, you know, flip flip flop the colors, like white being on top and red on the bottom, like, of course, like Electro looks like. <laughs> the more energy it charges up, the faster it gets. But this also makes it more likely to explode. <laughs> so, just went ahead and just decided to catch an Electrode. I might as go ahead and switch, just in case if the last Electrode decides to use uh, uh, Self Destruct for whatever apparent reason. Because we just gotta deal with this last electrode and we'll be done here. Electrode number two. Numero tres. You know, it's so interesting to be uh, saying uh, 
certain phrases in different languages. Alright, a thrash attack. THRASH! Ah, oh, I took it down and- Ah, oh, I decided to use self-destruct right after. Okay, well at least we survived. It's all good. And hey, we caught an electrode, so we're all good here. Excellent. And that's not me doing that. Look, Ma, no, no fingers! <laughs> Look, Ma, no hands! That odd signal has finally stopped. The lake should be back to normal. You're the hero. Let me thank you on, on behalf of all the Pokémon. Oh yes, you should take this. I found it here, but I don't have any need for it. We got HMO6. I wonder what that is. That's Whirlpool. Teach it to a Pokémon to get across wild water. But keep this in mind. You can use that out of battle only with the badge from Mahogany Gym. Chris. The journey to becoming the Pokémon Master is long and difficult. Knowing that, will you keep going? I mean, obviously I will. I see. No, you're right. If you would give up that easily, you would have never chased that dream in the first place. I look forward to seeing you again. Likewise, Lance. And with that, he takes his leave. And with that, we are going to take our leave as well, because we're completely done with this Team Rocket headquarters. And look, there's nobody in here. They're gone. But unfortunately, that guy is still posted there. And hey, this guy right here is not standing in front of the gym anymore. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and heal up my Pokémon really fast. You know, just to get that out of the way. And hey, since we're all done in terms of catching all those Electrodes, because trying to even just catch an Electrode can be pretty troublesome sometimes. Even though, of course, I'm not going to be, you know, use it that much, but just to get the Pokédex filled up a little bit. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and save it right here. Because our next stop is going to be the Mahogany City Gym. 